OSD from the beta flight not working in a DJI set of goggles. Hey, my name is Todd. I want to thank you for tuning in to the TL Jack channel. I greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. And what I got for you in this video is I have set up a new quad and have been trying for a number of days now to figure out why the OSD and my F4 uh, flight controller, which is a, a Joshua Bardwell F4 AIO, and why the OSD isn't working in my DJI setup. So I'm going to show you what I've got set up in Betaflight. I'm gonna show you how I have wired the DJI Air Unit into the flight controller. And then I'll show you the screens that I've got in my DJI goggles, even and the fact that I do have the OSD uh, custom menu as actually turned on. So if you see anything that's out of normal, that you can see that would help me get the OSD to talk to the DJI goggles. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. Uh, leave your comments below. Take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. All right. I thought I would show you my setup so far, uh, seeing as my OSD is not functioning in the goggles. So here's the flight control board. I currently have the gray wire from the uh, DJI Air Unit. Gray wire is going to uh, 6T and the white wire is going to 6R. I have even tried putting them on the, the TX4 and the RX4 in their proper connection. And in that case, I disconnected all the blue wires. The blue wires you see are the telemetry sensor uh, for the ESCs. And they're all on the 4R. So I desoldered all those put the air unit on the TX4 and RX4 and made sure everything in beta flight was on that I'm aware that should be on. And I still didn't get it to work right. So I'm going to show you my settings in beta flight. So I don't know how well you can see this or how well this comes in, but I'm currently connected into beta flight and here's my ports tab. And in the ports tab, as you can see, UART 6, the config MSP is turned on. And then up here in the UART 4, I have ESC in the sensor input. Now I've been told I don't necessarily need to do that, but uh, being as I'm not sure, I did it anyway. And I've even had that turned off and it's still, I'm not getting OSD. Configuration. I went to DShot 300. This is a JBF 4 AIO air unit. Um, I did have it on DSOC 600. I've just been changing things, trying to find why my OSD is not on. Motor stops on because I don't like them spinning as soon as I arm. Uh, ESC sensor I've got turned on. Bidirectional I've got turned on. Um, come down here, I've got the OSD and air mode turned on and dynamic filtering on. Uh, scrolling further, these I just all left alone from when uh, I, uh, from its original settings. So I don't know if there's something here I should be turning off or not. I don't know. And then come over here to battery. I set it up as Joshua Bardwell kind of recommended. Here's my fail safe. I've got that set at five um, for a delay. Uh, PID tuning. I have not touched this at all. This is a uh, basic setup from Beta Flight. Uh, here's my receiver setting, and just so you can see, my transmitter is all connected properly and is working. Um, here's my modes, arm. Uh, I went ahead and put an angle. 
I know some people don't like this, but I put it in because my goal is, is to also allow my children to fly. And I thought having a self-leveling feature would be a benefit to them. Um, and then I've got flip over after crash and that works on the switch. And then I've got the acro trainer mode. Uh, so as they step up, they can fly in that one. I fly in the acrobat mode myself. So I just have the switch always over clicked over here, which is the acro mode. Um, the adjustments tab did nothing to it. Servos, of course, I've done nothing. My motors, uh, they all work when I click on it. Works just fine. And then here's the OSD. And I put in those things that I have seen that uh, the DJI goggles are supposed to allow. I put a few of them in here just as an experiment to see if I can get them on. Uh, I I did change this to NTSC. I don't know if it should be at PAL. I originally had it at auto and I still wasn't getting OSD. I've done nothing to the video because there's, uh, I just don't know if I'm supposed to, uh, being as I didn't hook up to the video sensor on the JBF4 board since I'm using the DJI. So that was left alone. This I've not touched. And so that's my setup. Now let me show you the the goggles real quick and I'll show you as I've got everything plugged in so the goggles are turned on and I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you this with the GoPro since I've got no other way to show you the screen but as you can see there is no OSD on that screen at all Yeah, there's no OSD, as you can see on the screen. And I've done everything I can think of. I've gone into the settings. And I'll show you this real quick. As you can see, I've got the custom OSD turned on. And yet still, there's no OSD on the screen. So I'm stumped at what I'm supposed to do to get the OSD from the beta flow. From the beta flight to work in the goggles uh, i'm not sure what i need to do at this point uh, i have flown the helicopter the quadcopter it works just fine and i've got good video image when i'm flying i just got no way to know what my battery life is like on my quad and so i landed after four minutes and discovered that i had a whole lot more flight time that i could have flown and would be nice to have that osd just to tell me what my battery is so Anyway, if you got any advice, let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. Please hit the like button below, and if you would, hit the subscribe link up here and take some time to watch one of my other videos. Thanks again and have a wonderful day. God bless and take care of yourself.